Hello, my name is Jing Zhen. I'm a radiation oncologist specializing in the treatment of lung cancer and other cancers um, in the thoracic region. I trained um, in radiation oncology on the East Coast at Johns Hopkins, but I've been in the Seattle area since about 2012. And I love this region and working at UW Medicine as well as the Seattle Cancer Care Alliance. There, are, there has been tremendous advancement in radiation technology over the past few decades. And one um, form of radiation is, one newer form of radiation is called proton radiation. Um, vast majority of the radiation treatments that are given in the United States are given with something called X-ray radiation or photon radiation or regular radiation. There's a lot of different terms for it. Um, a different type of radiation is called proton radiation. And right now in Seattle, we have the only proton radiation center in over a thousand miles. The major difference between the two types of radiation is that proton radiation goes into the body and stops after a certain distance, whereas regular X-ray radiation travels through the body and exits out the other side. So when you're treating certain parts of the body that has a lot of critical organs, like your chest, which has your heart and your lungs, there can be tremendous benefit to doing proton radiation treatments which can better spare the normal parts of your body that are not cancer and don't need radiation treatment. I think a lot of patients have an idea of what radiation treatment is like from having seen it in a family member or loved one from years ago. I think radiation treatment has evolved a lot over the past years and there's no, it's hard to define one typical course of radiation treatment. Um, sometimes when we're treating a very small area, we can do the treatments in as few as three or four treatments um, over about a week. And then there are other times when we do the more standard form of radiation, which is once a day, every day, Monday through Friday, for probably about six or seven weeks. Each treatment is usually fairly short. They're usually about 20 minute appointments and they're what we call outpatient appointments, meaning the patients drive themselves to the treatment, they get treated and then they drive themselves back home um, from the treatment. But it can vary anywhere between one to three treatments or up to about six to seven weeks, depending on exactly what we're treating, where we're treating, and how big an area we're treating. We use radiation treatment to help treat cancer. <laughs> so there are um, multiple scenarios where we might do that. One is when someone has a cancer that's relatively early stage that we would like to try to cure this cancer and get rid of it completely, we can use radiation treatment to aim at that cancer so that hopefully we can kill off all the cancer cells and cure the person of their cancer. Um, that's one common situation where we might use radiation treatment. Another common situation is in someone whose cancer may have spread to multiple locations in the body and there is one tumor somewhere that's causing a lot of discomfort. Um, it can be causing pain because it's pressing on a nerve or you know, growing in a bone or causing trouble breathing because it's pressing on an airway. We may use radiation to just aim at that one particular tumor so that people can feel better and be in less discomfort from their cancer. Sure, I think the idea of getting radiation treatment is terrifying to a lot of people. So I, the common, common question I hear is, what are the treatments like? Um, it feels a lot like getting a scan, actually, like a CT scan or a PET scan, where you come and you're basically lying on your back um, on a table, and there's going to be a machine, and it moves around you, and the machine is at least a few feet away from you. So typically people are not claustrophobic or anything from the treatments, but basically you're lying on the table for about 15 minutes or so to 20 minutes, depending on the treatment. And the machine will be moving around you and there will be radiation therapists who are moving around you as well to make sure you're in the correct spot before we turn on the radiation. 
Um, you don't see the radiation, you don't feel the radiation, it doesn't hurt or burn or anything. You won't even know when it's on other than we will tell you, okay, we're going to turn the radiation beam on. And so typically you should walk into your radiation treatment and walk out of your radiation treatment about 15 to 20 minutes later feeling exactly the same. And so one common question we get asked is, can I drive to my radiation treatment? And I usually say, yes, if you're fit to drive to your radiation appointment, you should be in good enough shape to drive away from your radiation appointment on a daily basis. I think since ra radiation is such a terrifying word for a lot of people, a lot of people worry, what are the side effects from treatment? And that really varies depending on what exactly we're treating and what kind of radiation dose we're giving. When we are giving radiation to try to cure someone of their cancer, we tend to be relatively aggressive in the radiation dose we give, and so the side effect risk is a bit higher than when we are giving radiation to try to help someone feel better. Then we give a slightly lower dose of radiation so that we can help with pain, help with bleeding, help with obstruction without causing too many side effects. Um, some of the very common side effects from radiation to the chest include feeling a bit tired from the radiation treatment. Your body knows something's happening to you and is trying to recover from that on a daily basis. Um, we don't usually see a lot of skin burn from the radiation. That's a very common one I get asked. But for this, since we're typically aiming much deeper inside your body, because we're usually aiming inside your chest for a lung tumor, we don't usually see a big skin reaction. Um, we do sometimes irritate the lungs with the radiation treatment, so there can be a little bit of a cough or feeling a bit more winded, but usually this is temporary and tolerable. Um, those are probably the most common side effects I hear about during radiation treatment for lung cancer.